Welcome back. In this step, we will create a simple Spring Boot project and look at all the magic a simple startup project can provide. The way you can create a Spring Boot project is by going to start.spring.io. It's very simple. Start.spring.io. Just do a Google search for Spring Initializer. You should be able to easily get here. Start.spring.io. Once you are here, I would need to choose. I would use Maven as my build tool, Java as the language. You can use any version of Spring Boot, which is greater than 2.0. I'll use 2.000 snapshot. I hope by the time you do this course, there would be a greater version of 2.0 as well. You can use any of those versions. And over here, I would need to configure a name for my project. Just like you give a class name and a package name to each class, you would need to give a group ID and an artifact ID to each Maven project. So I would go ahead and give that. So com dot in 28 minutes dot spring boot basics. And I'll call this spring boot in 10 steps. And to this, you can add startup projects. Startup projects makes it very easy to develop applications. We would want to develop a simple REST service. And to be able to develop a REST service, we need to use a web starter. So we will need to use Spring Boot Starter Web. So I'm adding a web starter. You can see that in here. So you can see that there is a web added in, in here. Now you can go ahead and generate project. Once you click generate project, a zip file would be downloaded to your downloads folder. What I would need you to do is to take that zip file, unzip it to any folder on your hard disk and note down the path to that folder. I'll click generate project. This would download a zip file. I have unzipped the zip file to a folder on my hard disk. In 28 minutes, get getting started in five steps. Spring Boot in 10 steps. You can actually unzip it to any folder on your local hard drive. I would go into Eclipse and import that project. So what I'll do is file, import existing Maven projects, and you can either paste in the directory where you unzipped it to, or you can use the browse to browse to that specific directory. Either of these things should be fine. Once you're able to successfully select the root directory, you'd see a Spring Boot in 10 steps, a pom.xml, so I would go ahead and click finish now. What would happen in the background is now Eclipse would look at the Maven configuration and start downloading all the other stuff that is needed. So you would see that it would start to download all the dependencies and all that kind of stuff. If this is the first time you're using Spring Boot, then this might take a little while. It might take a few minutes for the whole configuration and the creation of the project to complete. The entire thing has completed. And now, if you look at it right now, this is the project which has been created. We have a folder called source main Java where all our Java code is. Source main resources is the resources folder. One of the files which would be there is application.properties. We'll talk about it a little later. Source test Java has the tests. And other than that, you should see a lot of Maven dependencies which are coming in. You can see that there are a wide variety of dependencies that are coming in right now. We will look at why these dependencies are coming in a little later. For now, let's see if we are able to start this application up. So I'll open up Spring Boot in 10 steps application. And I would right click and say run as Java application. Actually, we have not really implemented any code as such. So there is nothing that is implemented right now. All that we are looking for is to see if the server has started fine or not. You would see something like this. Started Spring Boot in 10 steps application in 8 seconds on port 8080. And if you looked at the details of the log, you would see that there are a lot of things happening already. However, the most important part was the fact that you have now a web application up and running. We would look at the different things which are present in this log and understand what is happening in the background a lot more in the future steps. Until then, bye-bye.